Red Dead Online is an absolutely huge game, and even if you've been playing for years, you're probably still making a few beginner mistakes. In this video, we'll run through 13 mistakes that I can practically guarantee you make from time to time. These mistakes are preventing you from leveling up and becoming a more efficient and dangerous player. So let's not waste any time and get straight into the list. The first mistake that you can make is being a low level griefer. If you're new to Red Dead Online, you might think that it's a good idea to try and take out some of the higher level players in your lobby. However, this is probably the biggest mistake you can make as a newer player. Sure, you might land a cheap shot on them while they're not paying attention, but after that, you'll be tracked down, killed with better weapons, and you won't be able to make any progress on things that you should be focusing on. As a beginner, leave the random PvP fights to the more experienced players. In the long run, you'll avoid more trouble, and you won't get killed quite as much. The second mistake you can make is not using defensive mode. Now, if you want to put yourself on the other side of the equation and not get griefed by random players, you need to be playing in defensive mode. Defensive mode is a godsend for anyone who doesn't want to get caught in random gunfights, as it makes players unable to lock onto you, use auto aim on you, or one shot you with a headshot. To make things fair, you won't be able to lock on other players either, and if someone does try to take you out while in defensive mode, you'll be able to fight back at a cost of an increase in your hostility level. You can go into defensive mode by bringing up the online menu and scrolling down to online options. From here, go down to playing style and turn on defensive mode. There is a delay of about 30 seconds from the time you toggle defensive mode, but from here, you should be pretty safe. And seriously, the amount of people who don't know about defensive mode is actually crazy. The third mistake that you can make is body shots. Now, one of the more interesting features of Red Dead Online is that a headshot will always kill you, no matter your level, health, or protection. This means that you can take out players who are much more geared than you and defeat NPCs with ease. However, the amount of players that don't take advantage of this mechanic and still aim for the body is just ridiculous. Yeah, the body is a bigger target, but it will take multiple shots for you to kill someone with body shots. It's just much more efficient to aim for the head. Trust me, if you start going for headshots, you'll win many more fights. The fourth mistake that you can make is gaming without a tall glass of glitch energy. Whenever you're grinding out a game for hours, you're going to get tired and lose your reactions. Then all it takes is that one guy to come along and ruin all your progress. Well, that is the case if you don't make use of gaming supplements like glitch energy. Glitch energy is an energy solution for gamers that won't kill your insides. Instead of containing a dozen artificial sweeteners that you can't even pronounce, Glitch Energy uses clinically tested and dosed ingredients that provide the buzz that you need without the negative consequences. So if you want to heighten your awareness and boost your energy so you can play Red Dead all night long, head to GlitchEnergy.com and use code J97 to get 10% off your entire purchase. Mistake number 5 involves rushing missions. I get it. When you have a bunch of missions to complete in a day, you'll naturally be inclined to rush them. However, this is a massive mistake for one reason. When you rush a mission, you will receive fewer rewards. So yes, it's very easy to complete, say, a bounty hunter mission in about 5 minutes. But if you only take 5 minutes, you'll only be rewarded with a couple of dollars and a few gold nuggets, if you're lucky. Instead, it's better to take your time and complete other activities along your journey. It sucks that this system is in the game, and hopefully Rockstar will reevaluate it someday, but for now, just be sure to take time with your missions. Number 6 is ignoring double and triple gold. It's a massive mistake to ignore double or triple gold payouts whenever you see them. These payouts make missions that wouldn't normally be worth doing incredibly financially viable, and are a great way to switch things up and earn great money as you do so. Double and triple game modes include PvP and PvE missions, so don't expect them to be a walk in the park, but they are also extremely lucrative, so worth the effort on your part. The next mistake is not taking advantage of tonics. Now, tonics might not seem like a big deal in Red Dead Online, but let me tell you something. They are game changers, if you can use them correctly. Tonics increase the health and or stamina for your character and horse. So drinking a tonic in a tight situation will help you flee quicker or give you more health to stand and fight. How many times do you wish you had just a little more health or stamina in a tricky situation? If you can't count how many times, then it's time for you to start using tonics. Number 8. Forgetting to loot. Now, I know what you're about to say. Looting is tedious, why should I spend my time on it? Well, I get you. Looting is very boring. However, it's also a necessary evil in Red Dead Online. 
Every time you forget or choose not to loot, you're missing out on some decent items like money, collectibles, animals, and perhaps most importantly, treasure maps. Treasure maps have only a 1% chance of showing up, but if you roll those dice enough, you're bound to find one eventually, and they pay very nicely when you do find one. So stop forgetting the loot and you just might become rich. At the ninth spot on our list is spending money and gold on pointless items. Of course, this is talking about spending money on items that aren't going to help you in the long term. Buying items like clothing, emotes, or changing your honor just isn't going to help you when you're first starting out. And to be honest, there's even an argument that changing honor is pointless altogether. Instead, you should be buying into content that will give you access to more content or give you a higher return than what you're currently receiving. By investing your money this way, you will increase your earning potential, meaning that down the line, you will be able to spend money on cosmetics, etc. without breaking the bank. On this note, roles are a great way to get into because they offer so many ways to earn money and unlock new content. There are also items as part of these roles that are going to provide you with even more money. For instance, let's take a look at the Moonshiner. The Band and Bar expansion may look useless at first glance, but when you realize that this expansion gives you access to more daily challenges, which pay decently, it's easy to see why these are great investments. Mistake number 10 is forgetting to do daily challenges and resetting awards. Now, let's not sugarcoat anything here. Rockstar nerfed daily challenges to oblivion not so long ago. However, despite the nerf, daily challenges are still the best way to go if you want to earn gold, especially with the Bounder Hunter expansion. So if you're not completing your daily challenges, you're just making a big mistake. You should also be keeping an eye out for awards. Some of these can be reset for 40 gold nuggets. You can also grind a few rewards like earn cash from trading. It's not a lot of money, but it does add up over time. Mistake number 11 is not investing in high returning content. Similar to one of the points that we said earlier, if you're not investing in high returning content, importantly roles, then you're making a massive mistake in Red Dead Online. With roles, you should focus on the Bounty Hunter and Collector first and foremost. The Bounty Hunter is the only role that would give you active gold by playing through content, which you are gifted at the end of each mission. This is going to make every mission so much more profitable in the long term. And the Collector is arguably the best role for money in the game. All you need to do is use this collector map to find all the collectible locations and you'll be set. Mistake number 12 is not investing in a good horse. Your horse is one of your most valuable assets in Red Dead, so it's important to get a high level steed. Rank 20 horses are the best in the game, and once you get your bonding up to level 4 and you purchase the Nakadocha saddles with hooded stirrups, you'll max out your horse's abilities in a couple of areas. Stamina and health are the most attributes, so prioritize these above anything else. And finally, mistake number 13 is buying too many weapons. When you first start playing Red Dead, it's easy to fall into the trap of buying every weapon you can get your hands on. This might seem like a great way to formulate your own unique playstyle, but it's actually a big mistake. Having hundreds of different weapons just isn't an advantage like in other games such as GTA. You actually only need few weapons, period. The Lancaster Repeater to take on every enemy type, a bolt action rifle for hunting medium large animals, and a varmint rifle for hunting small animals. The varmint rifle can also be used to sedate animals and shoot bird eggs out of nests without damaging them with the naturalist roll. So get these few guns and stop wasting money on weapons that you just don't need. So there you have it, there are 13 mistakes that you're probably still making in Red Dead Online. If you can follow all of this advice, then I guarantee you that you'll become a force to be reckoned with in Red Dead Online. Investing in content will make you rich, Aiming for the head will make you a skilled fighter, drinking glitch energy will give you better focus and concentration than everyone else in your lobby, and using defensive mode will stop you from getting sniped out of nowhere. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out our recent guide where we rank each RDR2 chapter from worst to best.